focus and exposure. What are these and why do I care? Focus and exposure are two of the things that as a beginner, I did everything in my power to avoid learning about. My tendency to avoid learning about something that I thought might be difficult to master was in full effect when it came to learning about focus and exposure. It's just one of those things that I said, eh, only the pros need to know about that stuff. I don't need to care about those as an amateur video creator. Well, how quickly you realize just how wrong you are. These are two things that unfortunately, no matter what level of video you're trying to shoot, you're probably going to have to learn and care about them just a little bit. Well, you might say, hey Troy, my camera has automatic mode for focus and exposure. So suck on that. And to you, I say, cool, you are one of the millions of people who figured out that these settings can be controlled automatically within the camera. Here's the problem. The camera is not the one trying to tell a story and convey a message to an audience that is coherent. The camera isn't the one that understands what shot needs to happen and when. And the camera isn't the one who understands what this should look like when editing in post. The camera doesn't make the artistic decisions that tell the audience how to feel. All the camera does is just try and keep the focus on the subject that's in the center of the screen and keep the exposure to a level that isn't too dark and isn't too light. The issue with that is sometimes dark is good. Sometimes bright is good. Sometimes you want the subject in the middle of the frame to be the one that's out of focus. And you want the subject off in the distance to be the one that is in focus. This all comes down to the creative control of the creator, the director, the producer, the editor, the whoever has control of the project. This all leads to the eventual conclusion that all camera users come to. I need to understand how to have control over my camera in order to get the shots that I really want to get. So even though there's a time and a place for camera operators to use automatic mode for exposure and focus, like I'm doing right now, as you can tell, because when I move my hand close to the lens, it focuses on my hand. And then I let go, focuses back on my face. However, you have to know the basics of focus and exposure and how to control them in certain situations. As I attempt to explain what these things are in the best way that I can, I will also show you how I control them manually on my camera. Okay, so for the purpose of today's video, I want to cover three things. Uh, focus, how to get focus and focus on something manually. Exposure, how to change your exposure up and down depending on if you want your shot looking bright or dark. And thirdly, focus and exposure locking so that they lock and no matter where you point the camera, uh, the focus and exposure don't adjust by themselves. As you can see, I have this camera, my Canon camera, pointing down at my Sony screen. In my Sony screen, I have two objects. One dead cat and some kid's toy in the background there. As you can see, there are two objects within this Sony screen. And wherever I touch my finger on the screen, it is going to track and focus. So if I want to focus on the dead cat, I touch... Oh, the dead cat and as you can see from the Sony image it focuses on the dead cat so if I want to focus then on the kids toy in the background I will go and I'll touch on the kids toy now this right now is being done when the camera itself is in autofocus however on a Sony when you're in autofocus and you touch the screen anywhere, for example back on the dead cat, it takes it out of autofocus and it goes into tracking. So it tracks whatever you touch. So that is a way of getting manually focused onto some object 
that you want to focus on. Okay, so now I just switched this Sony camera over to actual manual focus, which means on manual focus, you're actually going to spin this little knob up here on the front and it is going to cause a focus reaction. So if I go this way, it focuses more on the toy in the background. And if I pull it this way, it focuses more on the dead cat. If I pull it too much, it goes way out of focus. And now nothing's in focus. If I go too far, that's probably the dead cat. And then now it's focused on the toy. And I go a little bit further, and now it's way out of focus of everything. Too far. And too close. That is how you use manual focus on this Sony ZV-E10. Okay, so now before I start recording on this camera down here, I am going to go into the settings and I am going to exposure compensation right there. And from here, I can change the exposure. You can see if I go way to the right, it's really bright. If I go way to the left, it comes down. It does adjust itself automatically a little bit because we are shooting in auto mode, but you can see you go that way, it gets bright. You go this way, it gets dark. So let's say, for example, I wanted a darker feel. I would go down here and the exposure compensation would be set at two. From there, you're gonna get a little bit of a darker image if that's what I was going for. Maybe that's the scene that I'm trying to set. Uh, it has the feel of the scene I'm trying to set. And if I hit record on this camera, you can see I can change it and it goes way up. Or I can change it and it goes back down. So really important for not getting images that are really blown out white and ugly. So that is exposure. So now for the final thing and how these two work together. As we saw, I can go to exposure compensation, set it wherever I want. Let's say I want it to be right here at one and then I can go over, I'm already in manual focus mode. So what that means is with manual focus mode, let's say I get zoomed in nice and good. Let's see, right on the toy in the background. I think that's pretty good until right there. Okay, now let's say I want to move the camera, pick it up and move it over here. Well, it's not gonna focus on anything else in the room because it's set to focus where I left it. So no matter where I move the camera, it doesn't focus on anything else. The exposure doesn't change, even if I point it at the light. Now when I come back on the subject, boom. It's perfectly in focus. You can see the toy is still focused, even though I moved the camera around a lot. So because it's locked, it's locked in focus, see it's not gonna focus on my hand because it is not automatically changing. Whereas, if you set it to autofocus, now if I put my hand here, it focuses on my hand, and now it focuses on the toy. Now it focuses on the dead cat, and back to the toy. However, if I take that off and just put my hand here, now it focuses on my head. Here are a few real life examples of people using focus and exposure to get really good footage. Well, I hope this video was somewhat interesting and slightly informative. I'll see you next week for some more beginner camera tips and techniques. Later. <laughs>